Hey guys, what is up? It is Pieces of Prestige and today I'm back again with building Prestige Heights in Planet Coaster and this time we are actually building a new coaster in the new area and this area is going to be um, kind of on the side of a mountain with a cool fortress-like castle in front of it. Now, you know, I tried, I, I not really tried, I, I did want to try uh, to go to move on with building the wall that I built in the last episode, the previous episode, um, or actually episode 9 it is. Um, but in the end, I actually decided to stick with first building the area and then building the wall and the scenery around it because it is easier to um, design the wall if I know the shape of the area that it's going to be around when the area is built uh, than to just kind of make a wall and um, limit myself to the area that I basically made with the wall. And I think... This is a, a better way for me to kind of build my coasters. I don't want limitations. Uh, with the first coaster in this park, I kind of had the limitation where the edge of the park was, so I had to make a quick turnaround, which actually left the, the layout of the coaster, the Blue Wrath coaster, uh, the layout is very short. There's only a couple of hills before the coaster gets into the mid-course break run, and, I, and you know, I kind of didn't really want that in the end. I, I kind of felt like the coaster was a little... Um, underdone instead of overdone and with this coaster I'm trying to avoid it so what you can see actually here in the beginning of the coaster already is that the coaster actually stops right there that's not supposed to happen the coaster is kind of very gently sloped down so that the coaster runs through the track and I tried this uh, I think one and a half week ago um, I started on a project that is a dark ride slash coaster and it's pretty cool you can check out my Twitter I left a picture on there uh, you can find it under media tweets but basically I found out that when you create a track that slopes down very gently you can kind of make it look like the coaster is propelled forward uh, to move forward and to basically go through the dark ride area and that's exactly what I've done here now I can see more people you know doing this technique and it works out great you can you know it's the best is when you can't really see that it's sloped down and that's because it kind of looks like it's propelled and normally dark ride coasters or dark rides uh, in particular are um, propelled with for example wheels on the bottom of the uh, of the coaster track basically on the top of the coaster track and they kind of roll over the bottom or a push bar on the bottom of the, um, the coaster train and they kind of propel it forward and you know that's kind of what <laughs> um, what you need because a coaster would stop from friction and in the end I actually found out that the coaster would not make it through the entire part you know the entire um, track that I made for the dark ride section so I had to add this little piece of a, um, a lift hill right there and I put it level so it kind of looks really weird because it had a catwalk next to it and in the end instead of the catwalk I decided to just build a wall and build a floor to cover it up and I think the covering up really helped out with um, basically selling the fact that it's propelled and it's still you know when you ride the coaster in game you still hear like the click the click from the lift hills uh, from the ro entire rollback system but you can't really avoid it I just can't wait until there are transport tracks or something like that uh, in the game that we can use and that would be totally amazing I also can't wait for the booster segments because I would love to make a launch coaster in this game uh, especially with a dark ride theme it would be amazing to kind of um, just go into a dark room and then go into a tunnel and then just shoot out the end and go through the entire layout I think that would be a very cool idea to do as soon as the um, some kind of a launch track actually exists in Planet Coaster. Now, what I'm, you know, what I was trying to do here, as you can see, I'm trying to fill up the space bef uh, where the uh, piece of lift hill is, and I'm actually going to make this entire thing encapsulated in scenery, and it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to cover it entirely in this episode because this episode is too short for that. It is actually divided into two parts. Um, and even in the end of the second part, it's still not finished. So it's, you know, this is going to be a long process uh, where we build piece by piece and try to make it re as realistic as possible. Now, you know, there's so much detail. There's going to be so much detail in this. I mean, this facade right here, this very simple one, you can't really see it from the, um, you know, you can't, you don't see it like face first. You, you don't go into it. 
uh, from the coaster rider's perspective. But you kind of can see it, uh, you know, very slightly in the back of the ride as you go past. And just that little thing, you know, that somewhere in the back there's still something, it kind of really gives off this vibe that there's, you know, real theming going on instead of just plain facades and plain uh, scenery just only around the coaster. So I'm trying to I'm trying to make this as a dynamic structure as possible, like place things everywhere, but still keep it kind of structured. You know, I don't I don't want it to become a random jungle of uh, of objects. So um, basically, I'm saying uh, basically too many times in my video, so I have to stop that. But what I was doing here is trying to make some steps to go up to the taller part of the coaster because, um, you know, it's it's kind of weird how it all kind of combined right there with the catwalk because I had to build that wall there. It was kind of too tall to place any scenery behind it. That's why I just put the simple building there. Um, but, you know, it does give this elevated platform that I can use. And I used it in a way that I can basically just put those stairs there and make it look like it goes somewhere. Now I will have to delete that wall right there that sticks out too much uh, because nobody would ever be able to walk there uh, since it's only a couple of like, what is it, like a meter tall or something like that. It's, it's really, really narrow, that space that you can kind of crawl under. So I'll have to see how I fix that up. But overall, I think this, this general area of the coaster is going to turn out fine and I can't wait to release the next episode. So. If you're, you know, if you're as excited for that as I am, uh, please stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So until then, peace from Pieces of Prestige.